What's going on guys, Tom here, and in today's video I'm going to be giving you a behind the scenes look at my entry to the Ludum Dare 46 game jam. Now if you don't know what the Ludum Dare game jam is, it's a 72 hour game jam that takes place every single year that invites indie developers and developers from around the world from any background to come along and create their very own video game within that three day period. Now. If you've been following my Twitter account, I'll leave the link in the description below, you'll know that I really didn't have 72 hours to spend on this. In fact, I actually only spent about 8 hours during the 72 hour period that the game jam took place. However, I did want to try and polish off a few things and add a few extra features to it, so I have gone extra after that time and I've added a couple of extra things. I didn't want to go too wild because obviously I still have a lot of more content that I need to get out for you guys. So I've added maybe as four, five, six hours um, to the game. And yeah, I just wanted to show you some behind the scenes footage and give you a bit of an update as to what I've been working on over the past few days. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm doing here is writing down some notes for what I'm actually going to create. So I've written down that the game is called Crystal Core. It's basically going to be a first person slash tower defense sort of mashup game um, where there is a central core, this crystalline structure, and the goal for the player is to keep this structure alive. Now, what I'm thinking is it's going to have some form of a life force and that life force will deplete over time. And in order to try and keep that alive as long as possible, as the theme goes, keep it alive, um, Enemies are going to come in in waves, we're going to kill those enemies, some of those enemies are going to drop an item. Now if you pick up that item, I'm thinking it's going to increase the life force of the crystal a little bit. So the idea is kill enemies, kill as many enemies as you can in each wave to try and extend the life force of this crystal. Now if the enemies get to the crystal and they start attacking it, that's going to deplete the life force even faster. So the idea is keep them away from the crystal and in order to do that, I'm going to have the player be able to create these sort of tower structures and possibly like traps on the floor that will slow enemies down. We'll see how far I get. Um, that's sort of the overall gist of what I'm going for here. Now, looking at the time, it's 20 to 3 in the afternoon on the Sunday. So Ludendare started yesterday, uh, UK time, 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so I'm running really far behind. But as you can probably see uh, in the background there, there is uh, some happy birthday signs because it was my birthday yesterday. So I didn't really want to eat into family and birthday time. Uh, by working on this. So I've decided I'm going to start late. Uh, so I'm starting today and if, you know, uh, I get to the end of Luden Dare and it's not finished, uh, I'll just submit as is. And what I'll probably do is continue to work on this for the next sort of few days after Ludum Dare, just to give myself uh, the same amount of time as everyone else, really. Um, and what I will do as well is all of this uh, is going to be completely open source, all of the resources that I create. Um, so that's uh, 3D models, all of the code, any images that I create, sound if I get around to creating any of those. It's all going to be completely free for you guys to use in your own projects, do with it whatever you want. Um, it's all going to be totally open licensed um, and you guys can just have a play with it and do whatever you want with. So um, yeah, watch out for that coming uh, in the near future and yeah, we'll just crack on.
guys, so it is currently 1.41am and I am just about ready to package this up. I have um, spent about 8 hours total on this, maybe 8 or 9 hours. Um, I spent a ridiculous amount of time messing about in Blender, trying to create a cave system and all sorts of other stuff. Um, ended up deciding to scrap that because it just took way too long. I think I spent probably about two hours trying to make a cave in Blender. Um, so completely scrapped that. Probably spent about the remaining five hours um, actually working on the, the proper game. Um, spent a load of time making 3D models for stuff that ended up getting scrapped. So yeah, um, haven't spent a massive amount of time making this, but uh, you can hopefully see the core concept of what it is, um, what I was trying to go for, but obviously haven't had the full loom their time unfortunately to implement it as I would like um, but yeah I'll hopefully continue with this over the next few days and turn it into a proper um, looking game jam game all right cheers guys two thousand years later Hi guys, Tom here. So I'm just going to do a quick check-in to say that I'm going to be finishing with this game. Um, I have spent a few extra hours on it after the Ludum Dare project, probably another four or five hours on it. Um, still not the full 72 that I was going to spend, um, given that it uh, was for a 72 hour Ludum Dare game jam. Um, but I don't have that amount of time to spend on it, unfortunately. So uh, I'm going to call it here. I've managed to play around with a bunch of different um, things that I've never touched in Godot before, such as paths and path followers and various other stuff, and I've also had time to play around with Blender a little bit as well, which was quite cool, um, and the whole import process of 3D models into Godot um, was something that I hadn't done before as well, and it's a little bit finicky and I had to work my way around that, so um, yeah, it's been good, it's been a good learning experience for me. Um, like I say, the game is nowhere near uh, like a finished product or anything like that, it's basically just... Um, a little mini first person shooter slash uh, tower defense game um, and yeah I'm, I'm quite happy with it it's obviously got a bunch of bugs and loads of missing features and it's definitely not a finished game but uh, I think it turned out all right so yeah this is it If you like this video and you want to see more game development tutorials, remember to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out when I post new content. Remember that we also have a Discord channel, so if you're looking for support with Godot, game development, or you just want a great place to hang out with like-minded people, then check it out, link in the description below for that as well. Finally, if you want to go the extra mile to support this channel, I also have a Patreon account where I post behind the scenes snippets and give early access to my content. The link for that is also in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.